Have you ever thought of what transpires when tensions are rising, feelings are running high, and the green bays becomes the setting for memorable clashes? Now we're releasing the exciting threads that elevate snooker above a simple game to a riveting show of passion and unpredictable outcomes. Are you prepared to start this exciting catch? 15. The Crucible Clash of 2004 between Quinton Hahn and Andy Hicks Hahn's temper. A particularly interesting chapter was the 2004 fight at the Crucible between Andy Hicks and Quinton Hahn, which generated a story full of drama, frustration, and a little cheekiness. The two competitors entered the Crucible arena at the scheduled time with much excitement in the air. 2004 was destined to be remembered for an iconic confrontation that would continue for years to come. The audience was on the edge of their seats, waiting for the spectacle to to begin as soon as the first cues appeared. The turning point took place when Han and Hicks faced up in the crucible. Tension peaked then. A dramatic image of the continuous search for success was painted as a collision of skill, nerves, and resolve taking place. The spectators were treated to a symphony of tip and ball, as every shot captured the essence of snooker, a game known for its strategic skill. But when the final seconds approached Quinton, that's when the real show happened. Known for his violence and spirit of competition, Han was unable to control his emotions when he lost. The Crucible, which has seen endless victories and setbacks, witnessed Han's temper blowing up in the most unique way. Han took to making fun of Hicks, an act that will live on in the halls of snooker legend forever. Hey, hey. Man, not gas, all right? Right 14. Fireworks from the Crucible, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and Mark Allen's Fast Exchange. Moments of drama and intensity in the legendary game of snooker weave tales into the game that remain in the memories of the players. One such memorable event was the fight between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Allen at the Crucible. Tension in the Crucible exploded during a contest that would go down in snooker history between O'Sullivan and Allen. O'Sullivan thought Allen was purposefully stepping behind his line of sight in an effort to divert his attention. This idea sparked the spark for a dispute that turned violent. The atmosphere in the Crucible surged with the excitement of the confrontation as the time ticked down. Renowned for his brilliance and often aggressive behavior, O'Sullivan confronted Allen, setting off a heated conversation that carried around the arena. What started out as a contest of skill and strategy turned into a struggle of wills and emotions. The intense argument peaked at a moment that brought an unanticipated level of drama to the exchange. Known for its triumph, triumphant and tragic moments, the Crucible was the scene of a conflict involving not just cues and balls, but also personalities and informal sportsmanship norms. The O'Sullivan Allen match at the Crucible is now remembered as a tribute to the unpredictable character of sports and a warning that the most thrilling events frequently occur when the chips are down and the emotions are running high. The intense match between these two Green Bay's titans not only added a new chapter to the sport's rich history, but also served as a stark reminder that in the world of professional sports, Sports, every match is a canvas for human emotion and unpredictability, in addition to being a test of skill. Now you're standing up, and then you're moving in the eye line. Yeah. Okay. We just try to... 13. Daring Conversations from Ron O'Sullivan A snooker showdown Legendary snooker player Ron O'Sullivan received a warning from referee Olivier Marty, which was an unexpected turn of events. O'Sullivan, who was well known for his stamina and dislike of being lightly warned, did not take the warning lightly. In a characteristically arrogant manner, he shot back saying, You saw nothing. This unexpected interaction demonstrated O'Sullivan's unapologetic attitude, revealing his unwillingness to submit to authority and adding an element of drama to the the ongoing match. I'm, I'm not. 12. Quick fire impatience of Ron O'Sullivan, a snooker controversy. As he skillfully nailed the pink, O'Sullivan's displeasure became visible, causing a brief moment of real tension. Unwilling to hide his frustration, he called for a faster pace, gesturing to the referee to accelerate play and yelling, You're so slow. This candid moment not only made O'Sullivan clear that he was ready for a more exciting game, but it also brought some drama to the snooker match as it was developing. <laughs> 11. Laughter and shoulder bumps. Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter's cheerful snooker moment. On the snooker stage, an unexpected and unique incident occurred when Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter lightly bumped shoulders during their match. Though they made uncomfortable contact, the athletes laughed together, bringing a potentially uncomfortable scenario to a fun discussion. This unexpected break from the standard snooker decorum brought a human element and a sense of companionship to the competitive setting, demonstrating that despite the intense competition between cues and balls, 
balls, unplanned breaks and laughing may still have a place. Claire, he was trying to get in behind the black dirt. And <laughs> he smiles away. 10. Jimmy White's clash of concerns. Tension unfolds with referee banter. Jimmy White was not happy when he saw referee Ben Williams appeared to be laughing throughout their game. White expressed his worries and his dissatisfaction, and his protest was met with a firm reply. These conflicting points of view between the player and the referee raised the stress level in an unanticipated way and brought attention to how difficult it is to understand officiating and focus in the game of pool. <laughs> What's funny about that? What's funny about that? Nine. Heartbreaking snooker. Thepchaya Unu's close call on a maximum break. In snooker, Thepchaya Unu was hauntingly close to making a maximum break, but an unlucky slide on the final black ball destroyed his chances of winning a huge forty-four thousand pounds. This terrible sequence of events not only cost Unu an incredible accomplishment, but it also highlighted the narrow margins that separate success from failure in the high-stakes game of snooker. Forty-four thousand pounds. Oh, no! 8. Ronnie O'Sullivan's direct call injects the match with honesty. Taking issue with the referee's decision about a touching ball, Ronnie O'Sullivan used strong words when he urged that the official get your eyes tested. The match was given an extra dose of honesty by O'Sullivan's direct criticism, which emphasized the seriousness and close attention that come with playing snooker. Ronnie's still convinced it's not touching, but it's the referee's choice. If the referee says it's touching, then Mark's got to play right. 7. Ronnie O'Sullivan's accuracy monitoring. Unhappiness with bold gestures and black placement boots. Keeping a careful eye on the game, Ronnie O'Sullivan expressed his displeasure with the black ball's placement. He was not happy, and he told Terry, the referee, straight out that there needed to be two corrections made. O'Sullivan demonstrated his dedication to the minute aspects of professional snooker by using his sharp eye for accuracy and his forceful, pointed gestures to add an aggressive element to the match. Six points of Anthony McGill's dissatisfaction in Snooker's eyeline showdown. Anthony McGill became visibly irritated and yelled his frustration at Claire, which caused tensions to rise. Claire's habitual motions or position behind his eyeline, according to McGill, were disruptive and unnecessarily distracted the match. This conflict between focus and what was seen as interfering added to the drama and raised the stakes in the Snooker match as it was developing. And we'd prefer you to be on that side. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. It's not 5. The epic moment of Gary Wilson. A professional snooker roller coaster moment. When a shot on the boards went wrong, Gary Wilson's irritation was evident, and he let it out by slamming a foul shot with savage power. This clear expression of frustration gave the match a raw, passionate moment that highlighted the emotional roller coaster that is a necessary component of playing a professional snooker. Four, Brell's angry explosion, cue swinging action, shown in camera. Brell made sincere efforts to find a way out of a difficult circumstance, but he was unsuccessful. Brell gave way to an outbreak of anger and raised a red ball off the table with force, displaying his blatant dissatisfaction. This striking display of unhappiness gave the match a dramatic aspect and highlighted the complex emotional journey that goes along with professional snooker. Too much he went off the green, are we? It was impossible. That Foul. In fact, the uh, four. Oh. And the frag. three. An aggressive rest toss causes frustration in Ronnie O'Sullivan's green nightmare. Ronnie O'Sullivan surprisingly mishandled what seemed to be a simple shot on the green, shocking the snooker world. O'Sullivan, unable to contain his frustration, threw the remaining portion onto the ground. This unexpected show of emotion gave the game a dramatic edge and highlighted the anxiety and tension that even seasoned pros like O'Sullivan may encounter when playing snooker. Dear me, it made me jump. Two, suspense in Snooker's handshake. Morgan's joyful celebration takes an unexpected turn. Morgan's jubilant celebration took an unexpected turn when he gave Ebden a rather strong handshake, which sent snickers around the Snooker community. Fans and onlookers were talking about the lively but passionate conversation between Morgan and Ebden, speculating about the underlying dynamics at work on the Snooker stage, which gave an air of suspense to the match. 
One, Ronnie O'Sullivan's pinpoint clash. Referee Terry and Ronnie O'Sullivan got into an argument because of O'Sullivan's dissatisfaction with his ball placement. This argument about the finer points of the game gave the match an exciting new dimension of suspense and showcased O'Sullivan's methodical approach and the value he places on the accuracy of snooker elements. Can you see both sides of that red? It is, yeah. Sorry if you felt it. Remember that it's not just about the skill on the green felt, it's about the passion, the unexpected, and the sheer magic that happens when cues and emotions collide. So until our next thrilling chapter, keep that chalk handy, your eyes keen, and your love for snooker burning bright. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.